And again, this this also has been discussed, but I feel like it's very, very important as the county moves forward. Uh, it's going to be the importance of what we as a commission does where we have the authority to do it, and that's going to be quality appointments to boards and authorities. I think we need to make that a very, very, very important goal that we uh, that we focus on. And I'm not saying that we do not have quality appointments at this time that's in place, but I do think that it's extremely important that we look at the individual at what they can bring to that particular board, how they're going to be able to contribute, uh, what are their talents. I mean, looking a little bit deeper than just someone standing up and saying, I'd like to serve on the board. Um, I think we've got several boards in this community that for the growth of this community has somewhat a, a good bit of dependency on the actions and the leadership that those boards have. So I think it's very, very important that we focus on that issue. So with that, uh, is the goal specific? We've got that. Is the goal measurable? Um, I definitely think it's measurable. I think you will see success in your boards and your authorities with better performance. Is the goal attainable? Yes. I have a question on the measurable. <clears throat> um, if we're going to look at productivity and success, what, how often are you measuring that for it to be measured? Are you looking at it annually? Are you looking at it quarterly? Are you looking at it over the life of that appointee's term? Oh. Um. I think it's a, I think it's an ongoing process from the standpoint of measuring of measuring it. You need to look at each board. Certainly, I think it's important that the commissioners try to attend these board meetings when they have the opportunities to do that and see how they function. I think it's also important that as you move forward with it, you're seeing the input from each one of the board members that's there, and as appointments become available, the county appointments. I think it's extremely important that you have your input when, it, when it's time to make those appointments. Um, I also would take it a step, even a step further and say that there could be some input that you might even get from and at times have on appointments that might be from another uh, governmental group, such as City of Alabama. Uh, City of Hayhire and Lake Park. Uh, I think that we can contribute to that appointment. I think that they also as well can do the same thing. I don't think we just need to leave our, our blinders on about our options. To be evaluated annually? Say again? To be evaluated annually? Absolutely, that's what you're trying to get to. Yeah. Do we have any criteria for any of these? On these boards, say people have to have a certain area of knowledge to be put on the board. Or they well, you'd like to think so, but I'm going to use a car sale from this community's saying is I think right now all you got to do is fog a mirror. Mm -hmm. I think that's where we're at. There are some of them, for instance, the Board of Health, that do have criteria within the legislation that creates or allows for that organization that requires certain demographics of the population. For instance, that one in particular, um, the mayor and the chairman or their designee is a part of that board. Um, their school, school superintendent is required. Someone from um, the health field is required. Some, sometimes there are additional criteria. My point with what, what I'm saying is, is that we, we, have, we have a responsibility as the appointing government to do the best job that we can possibly do to make sure that these boards and authority have the best qualified people sitting on the board. I agree with you 100%. At the end of the end, if you want to give people, if you just want to get a person at that time, you know, it's just going to be required. Because I really think they need to come back and give a report on regular basis. You know, who was, and you know, what they did, and 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 what they did, and
and that's part of the process. And if we have a process, if we have a process now that's in place that that is not working, then we need to also explore that process and make it better. So where we can hopefully, and I know, you know, I don't mean it negatively, and I, and I probably shouldn't have said the mirror deal, but the reality is, is that, is, is that in a community the size of Valley Austin Lowndes County, sometimes it's very, very hard to have an individual just step forward and raise his hand to volunteer to do something. I think sometimes that we have a responsibility to also go out into the community, look into that community, and see if there are individuals in that community that you feel like that contribute to this community. And I hate to use the word recruit, but in one sense, that's really what you're doing. You're looking for the best candidates in your community to serve on some of these boards and these authorities. So I think it's extremely important that we begin to move in the direction to develop the criteria for each one of the boards. If we want to put some of these, uh, some of that criteria forward and, um, and uh, move with that, I think it's just something we need to consider. I'm not sure that uh, what we currently have right now, uh, I'm not convinced at this time that it, that it creates the best situation for us. Well, I think it, I also think it's important that uh, along those lines, uh, and one way that these boards and authorities would come to the commission annually, make a report as far as what's going on on their boards, what their needs may be, how we can help them if they if there's questions, and it gives you an opportunity as well to ask them. Uh, the things or the concerns that you may have at that particular time on the front of the board. Is this predominantly coming from the from the uh, appointees to the ZBOA? <laughs> <laughs> Let me clarify. Let me clarify. Are the planning commission to clarify? This is not. This, this is not. This is not targeting any one individual appointee. It's the whole picture as we're looking at it. Well, my, my next goal is really similar to yours, so maybe we can incorporate some of this into yours. But one of the ideas that I had was that that you appoint, if, if there is a board that has a, that does not have any sort of uh, hindrance in their bylaws, that when possible, a member of the Board of Commissioners sit on that Board of Authority. If there's an instance where that Board of Authority does not allow for a member of the Board of Commissioners to sit on it, then you appoint a liaison to that Board. So every Commissioner has a, has a list of Boards and Authorities to which they are a liaison. And then the Commissioners have to give, in conjunction with or independent of, have to give to the rest of the board of commissioners a report on the activity of that board. So you then appoint, so every commissioner as part of their district responsibilities, whoever occupies district two takes care of this board, unless I have strengths or talents and someone else does that you can shift, but it would be up to the chairman to kind of dictate that. And I think that's the best way to do it. I, I think the chairman, I think that would be your prerogative, the chairman's prerogative to appoint to that. So. Um, in addition to what you've said, if you're agreeable, we could we could explore that possibility of creating liaisons to these boards. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have any. I mean, that's all part of, of creating a better process. And I think if you have commissioners that actually go to the meetings, <coughs> uh, if you do nothing any more than just sit and, and observe, right? Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you just you, I think you'll have a lot more insight into actually what what's going on, what the responsibilities are. Uh, whether they're a uh, contributing board member. You know, I, I, I've served on some of the boards, and I mean, as I said, it, it, it's some, but there's some that just go, go there and they're just taking up space. They're not really contributing to that process. And some of them show up to Well, and there's some of that. Uh, so, and I know these folks back here, they know that because they, they've probably seen it themselves. 
Yes, well, sir. In the mirror. No, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> Chairman Slaughter said. Yeah. All right, but I, I think that that would uh, so Richard along those lines. I think what you're just what you just said rolls right into this process. And really, what I'm looking for is to make boards, authorities, and those appointments a responsibility that the commission has a better process than what we currently have. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're through with that, I got to do it with this. No, it's got to do with mine. I'd like to get some comment and feedback on what I brought up. I read it out and moved on the deck, so everybody got their discussion. You know, I want to comment. <laughs> well, it was hard to lift back up. Do we have any comments on uh, on doing a building space, a study space, uh, study the space of the building that we have? And, you know, why would we not want to do that? Um, <laughs> 